Hi there, here's a little video where I want to show you how to use the proxy files generated by the A7S3 in Final Cut Pro. Uh, since we all want to use the camera with the most quality settings, which is 422 10-bit for yeah, the most file formats, where we have XAVC SHS or XAVCS. And most of our computers are struggling with this. So yeah, since we wait for the new Apple machines with the M1 processor, we have to find a way how to use these high quality files from the camera. And I think most of you guys have the same computers like me. So yeah, my computer is a 2018 MacBook Pro with a Core i9 and 32 gigs of RAM. Yeah, the older graphics card, which is really having some troubles on the 422 10-bit videos generated by the A7S3. And yeah, I want to use the proxy files natively because yeah just to save some time okay let's start for convenience i want to copy all the files from my sd card to a folder on my desktop which is the a7s3 test folder located on my desktop i will go to my sd card go to m4 root clip and select three of my test clips so these two here this one and this one are files with 50 FPS and this one is a 100 FPS file just for comparison how long it takes to create a proxy file with this because the camera cannot create proxy files on 100 or 120 FPS. So let's select all of them and copy them to our hard drive. Let's also copy the um, proxies generated by the camera. You can find this in sub. As already said, there are only two of them because the 100 FPS file doesn't have proxy generated by camera. Now let's go to, ah, first go to the Catalyst browse where you can see that this is the HEVC or H265 or as the camera says, XAVC HS file with a 4 to 2 10 bit in 4k 50 fps i yeah, don't mind this i did not register my camera yet so just want to show you the data of the files in the inspector of catalyst browse so yeah you can see the 100 fps file 42 10 bit and here we have the xavcs which is i think a h264 file also in 422 10 bit 4k 50 fps all right, here we go. Let's jump to Final Cut and import our media. I'm already in the A7S3 test folder where I copied my files and import them. So now we have them in the project. As you can see, there's the file stuttering around when I press play. It will play, but it's stuttering. And here you can see the 100 FPS file. It's also have a, the little slow motion tag on it. Also the other file, which is the XAVCS file. Stuttering like hell, not usable. Okay, um, when we switch to proxy files, we have now the possibility to generate the proxy files in Final Cut, which we have to do for the 100 FPS file. But we can also go um, to, yeah, we have to select the media bundle first. So let's go to reconnect our proxy files. Um, my menu is German, but I think you will find the options in English or your language are on the same position. So reconnect proxy media. And let's go to the files where we say search all. We have already selected because I have tested this <laughs> in advance so we have already selected our proxy folder where I copied the files and I will try to import them which is not working the reason is the files are named differently so they have the an addition to the file name which is so3 and we can rename them and uh, Mac OS, we can bulk rename them uh, in Mac OS, where we go to rename the file, where we have to select both of them, rename the file and say text replace. And I said replace the text so3.mp4 by only 
mp4 here we go and now these files which are the proxy files are exactly renamed like the original files from the camera okay let's go back to final cut and search again say choose and now final cut will find the files and say connect and here we go we have the proxy files working perfectly smooth for our footage so of course this one is missing we will generate this by ourselves just to see how long it takes and we use the h264 25 percent of the image size 4k here we go and let's have a look how long this will take the file is not long i guess when i click here and see yeah it's uh, around 20 seconds and as for 20 second 4k file in 100 fps it takes a really long let's wait for this all right this definitely took longer than the 20 seconds of uh, this clip you can save a lot of time when you already have the proxies for your normal footage and only record the slow motion files in Final Cut Pro. The problem is now it's not convenient because the proxy files are in a different folder than our um, Final Cut bundle. And this is very easy. Final Cut bundles are, you can open Final Cut bundles. This is why I have here the bundle where I saved my, my media. I can say and show content and go to the folder of our where I placed the original media. As you can see, there are my three files, which is our final cut. And I can, can go to transcoded media, proxy media. And you see, these are all links. There's a link to our file we connected first. And there's also a link to our second file. This one we created in final cut. This is for the 100 FPS file, which is already located here. And we can replace this by our proxy files we already copied to our test folder in the desktop and say replace replace now we have our proxy files also in our final cut bundle and yeah let's go back to final cut and it's uh, still working also if we switch to optimized and back to proxy again so now we have all your files on one place and you can have the convenience of proxy files and the Final Cut bundle. Hope this helped you a lot and stay safe.